Patrick, how has your first day been back in the manager's chair? It was a good day, I would say. I was looking forward to, uh, to meet the players, the staff. It was a good day. And how excited are you about the, the challenge that lies ahead? Really exciting challenge. I think it is a crucial player for the football club. I think we're looking forward to a new chapter and um, I'm really proud and happy to be part of it. And what convinced you that Palace were the right club for you to return to the Premier League with? What really um, was important for me is the, the stability of the football club. I think when you have the chairman uh, with a passionate about this football club, you have a Dougie Friedman who was the next player and now a sportive director. You have the structure of the football club with the new facility, the new academy. I think the, uh, the foundation of this football club will allow me to give my best to this football club. There's obviously, there's space in the squad to bring players in at the moment. Is that, is that actually a positive for you? Yeah, I think it's really important. This is what I was looking for, to be a part of a team that's working well together to bring new faces to the football club. So I will be surrounded by people who has experience Really looking forward to work hard with those people to, uh, to bring talent to our football club. And I don't think you played many games against Palace, but what bef before coming here, what did you know about Palace as a club? What I knew uh, from Palace before um, coming is the link between the first team, the academy, the link between the fans and the player. I heard a lot of really good things about the atmosphere of this football club. And this is as well, when you put in all this kind of ingredient together, I strongly believe this is the perfect project for myself. And you, you've had a, a day of training already. What is this first week at the football club about for you on the training pitch? Is it getting to know the, the players that are already here? Yeah, I think the first week is always important to, to know the players, but for the players to know how I want to work the philosophy I will want to implement in the football club. You know, the first week will be when I will talk to players individually and try to understand where they are, what they want to achieve and explain to them the way I see in the game and the way that I want to build the team. Obviously, we can't have the usual pre-season trip away in a foreign country, but you are spending a week at St George's Park. Is that going to be really great for you, being around the players 24-7? Yeah, this is uh, really important. St George's Park, I think, is one of the best places where you can go and prepare yourself. Spending time with the players and doing some uh, individual meeting and, uh, and try to really go into the details about what I expect from players, from staff. How can we work all together to maximise the potential of the players? You've had some of the under-23 and under-18 players training with you already. Will your experience working in Man City's academy help you when identifying which players are ready to make the step up? Yeah, I think um, spending a couple of years at City and working with some of the best young players in this country really helped me to understand what you take and what you need to develop a young talent. But I believe this football club have a really good reputation of developing young players. When you see in all the players who are coming through the academy, and play for the first team. I think this football club has been working well. So it's working with those people in place and try to, to see if I can bring some of my experience to them to produce even more players. Have you had a chance to have a look at the new academy? Yeah, I went, uh, I went there yesterday and spent a couple of hours with the chairman and it is a, an excellent tool to have because that shows as well the commitment of the football club to these young players. They're, the club is prepared to give you all what you need to succeed and, uh, and that is the, an important tool as well when you want to sign young players because we, I believe in this football club, have everything to challenge some of the best football club around and to give the players what he need to develop himself. What are your hopes and expectations for the, this season ahead? My hope is to um, get the best of the player. What I really want is to put a philosophy in place that players understand really well, so when they're going on the field, they can express themselves because there is talent. And my responsibility will be to make that talent working well together. I will want to see a team who is in the front foot. I will want the teams to score more goals, to have more shots in target than 
we used to, but at the same time keep this kind of mental strength that the team created the last couple of years to, uh, to be even more stronger. You've been all around the world in the past few years. Are you glad to be back in London? <laughs> yes, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad uh, to be back in a football club that gave me the opportunity to manage one of the greatest clubs in the Premier League. So for me to be part of, of that is, is a real pleasure. And finally, do you have a, a message for the fans? Yeah, the message is, uh, is simple and, and clear. I will um, give my best to the football club. I know what it, uh, what's that mean uh, for the fans. I will work hard to uh, manage to get the best of the players. And uh, obviously, I will uh, be really demanding because um, I think that with the players that we have around and the new players that we are bringing our football club, with your support, we can achieve a lot.